Hey, Ken here from Homebrew Audio. I've been asked by several people to do a Reaper video, so here we go. This is an overview of Reaper Digital Audio Workstation software. In addition to multi-track software, you'll also need an audio editor. One example is Audacity, which is free, and I'll show you how that can work with Reaper. I'm going to show you how to do a voiceover with some background music. Here we have Reaper. We need to open a track. So you can either click on track, insert new track, or you see here, control T. Once you learn the keystrokes, it gets faster. Anyway, insert new track. Okay, now I'm going to click the arm record button so that it's ready to record. And you can see that it's already found my microphone. If you've never set that up before, basically you're just going to right click on this meter. And down here where it says input, it should have uh, the sound card that's set up. How you set that sound card up is you go to options. Preferences, you go to Audio Device, and you choose your sound card in here. Okay, so we're going to do a quick voiceover demo. This is already armed and ready to go. When you're ready to record, just click here. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ken with another Homebrew Audio podcast. I'm doing a quick demo today on Reaper. When you're done with your voiceover, click Stop. Go ahead and click Save All. Okay, next comes the editing. First, though, you're going to want to set that up. I talked about Audacity, so let's go ahead and set it up here. In Options, Preferences again, go down to the bottom, External Editors. I'm going to add Audacity. So now Audacity is my editor. When I click OK, now when I'm ready to edit, I just put my mouse in the waveform here and double click and it spawns Audacity. And interestingly enough, it opens up our audio file as well. So now you do your editing, removing noise, removing artifacts, removing P-pops, whatever. I am gonna just do a quick normalization, which is a volume thing that just turns it up. You're gonna have to export the file, same file name, export it to Reaper Media, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite, say yes. And then when you go back into Reaper, lo and behold, you'll see that the audio is turned up. Now all you got to do is add some background music for your intro. So let's disarm, unarm, this first track, and we will arm the second track. You've got the mixer view down here, but you've also got a media explorer that you can show as well. If you don't have that shown, just go to view media explorer. And here you can audition music. I don't like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to drag this file up into this track. Boom. Done. Okay, now let's listen to... Hello, everybody. This is Ken. I would like the music to start before the voice, so I simply click and drag this over. Hello, everybody. This is Ken with another Homebrew Audio podcast. Okay, maybe the music's a little loud. I can just turn that down right here. Hello, everybody. This is Ken with another Homebrew Audio podcast. And I can fade in the music, which is kind of cool. You can see that that's a really long music file. So what I'm going to do is slice it right here. Slice. And just delete this part of it. And I am going to fade it out over here as well so it fades in and out and I'm just using my mouse wheel here to zoom in and out which is very cool so hello everybody this is Ken with another homebrew audio podcast today we're doing a demo on Reaper so if you're happy with that just go to file and we're gonna render this I'm going to call this Reaper Vid VO for voiceover. Okay, now it's rendered. Now we can go back to our editor and open up the rendered file, which was called Reaper Vid VO. And you can see there's the final version. There's uh, a lot you can do with a final version here in editing, but sometimes there really isn't anything. And when you're ready to save it, you can export it as let's say you want to put it on the web 
export it as an mp3. And voila, you have produced a voiceover. Now let's do a quick music demo. We're going to put in one instrument and one vocal here. So you double click in that little window on the track and you can name it like this, which believe me, you're going to want to do when you get lots of tracks. I'm actually going to make this a piano. Okay, now I'm using virtual instruments here. I have an article on that on Homebrew Audio, but that means that it's going to be controlled by something called MIDI. Yes, there's another article about that on Homebrew Audio. So the first thing I'm going to want to do for this is arm it. Now you see that it's set up to record the microphone. We don't want that. We want it to record the MIDI keyboard. So we're going to right mouse click on that meter, come all the way down here to MIDI input, and you can see it recognizes my MIDI keyboard. You can see if I tap on my keyboard here that it is receiving MIDI data, but it's not making any noise because there's no instrument attached. So I'm going to come up here to VSTI, that's a sort of virtual instrument, and I'm going to load this uh, piano module. And this forefront piano module I think is something free that you can get off the web. Do a search. And I notice you're still not hearing anything. This can cause great frustration. That's because you're not monitoring the input. So come here to this little button that says in, click on that and put a check mark by monitor input. Now you can hear the music. If you want the music to be to a certain tempo, which I highly recommend, come up here to this little icon of a metronome and that will turn it on and just uh, hit the space bar to, to play and you can hear the tempo. If you want to change that or check what it is, come here to the wrench icon, which is project settings. You can see under project settings that the beats per minute is 120. That's the tempo. The time signature is 4-4. You can change that to suit the beat of your music. Okay, now you're going to record some pianos. So let's do a count in. One, two, three, four, one, two. So these are the MIDI notes, and now you have a music track. So let's come over here to vocal, and you can record that while you're listening back to what you recorded. I usually turn off the metronome at this point. And now you can record the vocal while you listen to the piano. These are some lyrics that I just made up for this song. Hit stop, and you're going to want to hit save all to keep that there. Now let's see how this sounds. These are some lyrics that I just made up for this song. Okay, that's good. Now let's add some effects to the vocal. Come up here to the FX button, clever, no? And go to Kakos, which is the name of the company that makes Reaper. I'm going to put reverberate and add some reverb. I'm going to come up to the presets here. I'm going to choose live vocal and uh, if I hit the S button up here that's solo you can hear what it sounds like all by itself these are some lyrics that I just made up for this song yeah let's go with that unclick the solo button so everything plays these are some lyrics that I just made up okay so once you're happy with the timing and with the volume and the mix and everything and the effects then you just go to File, Render, as we did with the voiceover. This one we're going to call Reaper Vid Music, though. And now let's go to Audacity and open up that file. And there it is. Now, the editing that you do to a final version of a song um, usually involves clipping off a bunch of space at the beginning for the count in, maybe fading out the end, and maybe normalizing it. So let's do all of those things. First thing I'm going to do is normalize, which as we talked about before, is just turning up the volume so that the loudest bit is at the loudest possible level. Okay, now let's take all this blank space here and delete it. Just use the delete button on your keyboard. And let's do a fade out. Actually, see there's this little extra bit right there? Let's delete that. And now let's fade out the rest. Effect, fade out. Boom. Ah. Now let's listen. 
These are some lyrics that I just made up for this song. <laughs> okay. So now it's done. I'm going to render that as a wave if I want to make a CD or something high quality or export export I mean not render and or export it as an MP3 if I want to put it on the web. And it is just that easy. Come and visit us at Homebrew Audio for more good stuff on audio recording. <laughs>